Goodell in Android is now a reality. Be ready to create your games wherever and whenever you want. Goodell is a powerful open source game development engine that empowers creators to bring their imagination to life. With it, you have the freedom to design and build your own games, whether you are an experienced developer or just starting out. Gujo is not just a game engine, it's a creative ecosystem that encourages experimentation and innovation. So join me on this exciting adventure as we explore the endless possibilities of Gujo and unlock the world of game development in your Android device. So in order to download the version for Android, the first thing we're gonna need is to, to go to the official website of Goodjot. It is uh, the first site. So okay, once you are here, uh, you are going to be here on the official uh, website of Goodjot. And the first thing you're gonna do is to click on these uh, three dashes. They are that uh, three lines, I mean. Then you're gonna click where it says download. Once you're here, uh, you will need to scroll down a little bit until you find here this section of uh, supported platforms. And here, of course, you're gonna select uh, Android. Here you have two options. You can either download the official version uh, from the Play Store or you can download the uh, APK. Both uh, should work well. But remember that um, if you download the version uh, in the Google Play Store, you are gonna be able to actually update um, the engine when there is a new version. Whereas if you download the APK, you are gonna need to delete the application and then come back to the official website of Joe and download again the APK. There is actually, I believe, no reason to download the APK and that's why I believe the best version and the one I advise you uh, to download is the version from the Play Store. So let's click where it says Gujo Engine Play Store. And here I am, Gujo Editor 4, Early Access. So now I'm gonna click where it says Install and I will need to wait a couple of seconds. As you can see, it's only like 40 megabytes, uh, so it shouldn't take a long, long time. Okay, so here we have um, the version of Joe for our Android device. So I'm gonna click where it says open. As soon as I had opened uh, the application, it, um, I don't know why it opened this window. This window is actually to give access to the Google editor to the files. So here we we'll have to find the Google editor 4 and we're gonna turn it on. This is mandatory as in game development, you're gonna need to create a project uh, this is going to create files and of course if you wanna create a script, if you, if you wanna import your assets or anything, you're gonna need the file access. Then you can just click on this um, top left arrow and it will take a while to open the editor. Okay, so here it is. You currently don't have any projects. We would like to explore official example projects in the asset library. I'm not gonna open any asset library or something like that. So I'm gonna click cancel. So nice, here we are. As you can see, everything is exactly the same as the desktop version. We have the uh, local projects window uh, or also the asset library project. So uh, the first thing I would like to do is to actually uh, create a new project. Um, so I'm gonna click where it says a new project. Here I will need to give it a name and so I'll just type uh, Android and I'll create a new folder. Here you can select the renderer uh, for your project. I recommend you to leave the option as default. This means leaving a uh, mobile. And then I'm just gonna click where it says here, create an edit. The thing is that um, as this is an Android device and my Android device is not actually a very, very good Android device, is a Samsung um, A12. So the thing is that I, um, I will click where it says create an edit and it will take uh, maybe some time to load. So that's why you're seeing and I am also seeing just a black screen. And I will leave the uh, recording uh, so that you can see how much time in my case uh, takes to 
create and open a project while well, we're seeing the the icon of the engine right now so that's a good sign i believe uh, but now uh it should try to load um let's say the the whole project the the, the complete project it's taking um a while so if it's taking a, a lot a lot i will just uh, stop the recording for a couple of seconds and we will come back okay it was like <laughs> as soon as i stopped recording it opened okay so it was like a minute or something like that but well here we are in the uh, version we have these joysticks here i don't know what they do i believe this is for the 3d environment to move um so i think that if we go to the 2d environment this joystick should disappear yeah we have these two uh, things here to move up the the view or to move horizontally the view that's nice and we can also zoom out and uh, zoom in just like is it if it were uh, an image so i believe everything is working really fine as you can see i can resize the different windows and everything just like in the um, desktop version so i'm gonna do something very simple to try out if it crashes or something i'm gonna create a 2d scene okay and i'm gonna rename it to uh something like main for example main okay nice then i would like to save to save this scene so i'm gonna click scene save scene uh save okay nice um now i'm gonna create here some notes uh, some sprite notes sprite nice and i'm gonna quick load the icon of good dog that's right and i'm gonna like center it maybe move it there and inside my main node i'm gonna attach a script I want to attach a script okay it's very difficult to use this in a mobile phone a template will be empty so that we have no functions or things like that okay so <laughs> we can actually code something here in this case i'm gonna call the uh function uh, ready function ready nice if you click enter you you can auto complete the function or uh, things like that for example as you can see i put underscore r and i can see they are the ready so if i click the enter key right here as you can see it auto completes so that's nice uh, when the game starts i'm gonna print and uh, print where is it okay i can't find it so i'm gonna just uh, type it print for example subscribe okay now i want to click enter again no 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 so how can i close okay so to close the um, the keyboard you just have to touch in any part of the editor something weird is that white screen right there it's a bit annoying but well anyway um it's not a uh, well spelled here subscribe but well let's not change it it's the same and i'm gonna click a uh, play i'm gonna select the current scene as the main one and again we'll have to wait a couple of seconds until uh, the game launches so i'm gonna cut uh, the video i'm gonna stop the recording and we'll come back okay i well if now this okay you have the game to come back, I believe I will have to like go back to press uh, the go back arrow. Okay, okay, here I am. I have the subscribe message right here and some errors that I don't really understand. So now that we have tried out uh, with the editor, some really basic stuff, I'm gonna actually uh, make something, let's say, a little bit uh, more difficult. I'm gonna call the sprite right sprite to dim dodge modulate so that we change the color to something like a uh, color color dodge red uh, red okay so now i'm gonna click 
play again and let's see if this time loads faster than uh, the last time okay so there we have our icon in red i'm gonna come back again and lastly one thing i would like to do um is to firstly zoom out a little bit and i'm gonna duplicate the sprite to d and really to duplicate it i will have to double click it note if i double click it uh, i rename it so if i hold okay yes if i hold it will be like a uh, right clicking and here i will where it says duplicate duplicate okay here duplicate and i'm gonna move it like here for example and again in this script i'm gonna how do i tab here mm, i don't know how to tab here so i'm gonna go here enter and there i am in this case i'm gonna call the second sprite second here sprite to the two come on dodge modulate modulate uh wow the autocomplete they are didn't work because i'm pressing enter okay they are now that time work i don't know why sometimes the autocompletion works and sometimes and sometimes it doesn't in this case i'm gonna uh change the color to in um, blue color dodge blue okay so now we should have this sprite in red and this sprite in blue when we start play so i'm gonna click a uh, play right here okay here we have yes and everything is working just fine so i believe there isn't uh, actually a lot to say uh, about the version just that version is very very similar to the desktop version but of course you don't have a lot of limitations when it comes to hardware and uh, when it comes to comfortability because the screen is very small and the keyboard uh, also make it um, a lot of a lot uh, more uncomfortable than working on uh, the pc but for example uh, you could connect a mouse or and a keyboard to your phone and then uh, the workflow would be a little bit nicer however it will never be the same as working in your pc so i believe this mobile version uh instead of using it to create whole projects and that kind of stuff it's more just like to ideate some prototype if you are abroad if you aren't in your setup with your nice pc or if you are just uh, starting out in game development and you don't have a pc and don't know if you're gonna like game development well maybe you can try out some things there in your phone but well it's nice that with joe a, a well-known uh, engine um, launches a version for android because for example unity unreal or other engines don't have a version for android in the google play store i believe so that's uh, so so nice anyway leave me your opinion on this topic on the comments down below subscribe to the channel for more content related to good joe android and that kind of stuff and see you on the next one bye bye